Hello friends, this is uh, Chandrakan from Akul Mac Technologies and welcome to Top Brass Likeable Leaders. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very distinguished personality on the show. His name is uh, Mukesh Narsimhan Murthy and he joins us from Bangalore. So uh, he has a long career of two decades. He is very well known in the uh, startup fraternity. He has been a serial entrepreneur. So many of us knows who are part of the industry. But I think we will learn more about him when we bring him on in the discussion. So without further ado, let me present Mr. Mukesh Narsimhan Murthy. Thank you, CK. I appreciate it. I'm glad to be part of your show. Uh, it is a pleasure, uh, Mukesh. In fact, uh, I know you a little bit and I would like to know more about you. And uh, the viewers definitely would like to know more about you. And this is an interactive session, so viewers can also interact with you. So you had a very long career, Mukesh. You had, uh, uh, you know, you worked with the corporate uh, tier one companies and then you have been a serial entrepreneur for almost like two decades. Would you like to tell us your story, how it all began and what inspired you to become an entrepreneur? All right. Uh, I would like to start from saying that I'm a Bangalorean. I've been a Bangalorean all my life. And, uh, you know, in Bangalore, the IT environment started pretty early. In fact, it started blooming from Bangalore. So that is something that uh, it is more of a childhood dream uh, to uh, be part of the technology front. So that's pretty much what uh, made me and my aspirations to uh, get into the technology aspect and the forefront. And uh, I was working with uh, IBM, Hewlett Packard. And uh, these are the organization that gave me the bigger insight uh, to get into a global technology solution delivery. So that's pretty much what takes me and brings me here. Uh, so I think uh, you have been a very modest person also, even though you have achieved too many things in life. Uh, but I think we will learn more about you. You have been in Absolutely. Uh, you have been in the industry for almost two decades, two plus decades, and uh, in the last two decades, we have seen so many transformation happening. Would you like to throw your opinion um, or tell us more how you handle these transformations? See, the, the digital transformation absolutely is a wonderful thing that happens to each one of us on a day-to-day -day basis. I would say. Uh, it started off with uh, uh, with Windows uh, to start with, the, the early days of the technology. And uh, that's what brought in a lot of people closer in terms of uh, assembling of computers, I would say. So that is something that people started with. And uh, later it became uh, small businesses, medium businesses and large enterprises. And uh, these are the different areas uh, that helped us to look bigger and uh, having a wider perspective of how technology can grow. And uh, that's pretty much what uh, got us uh, to have developed technologies uh, today under Savvy Global Tech. And we have go-to-market solutions. And that's pretty much why we are here to have this discussion. Mukesh, I think before we uh, talk about your current uh, organization, which is Savvy Global Tech, uh, we would like to know more about your transformation as a leader, because you've gone through various, uh, you know, different businesses in life so far. So how your story as a leader transformed, we would like to learn from it and we'd like to know more about it. Absolutely, CK. Uh... It started off uh, with uh, me being uh, into uh, training, uh, which is a part of learning and development in IBM. So uh, starting to interact with peer engineers, uh, recruiting them, under, uh, making them fit to market, uh, training them for on different technologies. So those are the different aspects that gave us an insight on how different functions in an uh, uh, enterprise organization work and how to make individuals ready for the for those different uh, levels that uh, each one of them belong to or they've been asked to fit into so gives us a, a very wide uh, 
perspective of what is the market need. And today it is very important that uh, we will have to give what the market specifically want. So those are the areas uh, where we need to really focus on to make sure uh, we're able to uh, fit the technology to what the market specifically asks. All right, Mukesh. So, Sorry. So uh, coming from there, uh, it, it uh, became larger to having more responsibilities on the shoulders. And uh, I was part of a larger enterprise called as uh, Swiss Home Theater and Automation. So that pretty much uh, gave a bigger perspective in terms of handling uh, larger audiences uh, or clients, I would rather say, uh, to fulfill their requirements. So from there on, for 15 plus years, uh, giving audio, video and technology automation solutions, uh, I'd learned in the, uh, as the organization group and uh, how to handle international clients, how to handle technology solutions, uh, how to integrate them, how to forfeit for their requirement. And then they're on, uh, got into technology aspects of uh, solutions on artificial intelligence and blockchain and argumented reality. So these are the areas which uh, blew uh, into the market in the last recent years. So that's pretty much what uh, gave me a thought uh, in bringing all of these technologies together under one umbrella uh, to put together Savvy Global Tech. So uh, since we are talking about these uh buzzwords of the industry, which is IoT, uh, transformation, and uh, machine learning, uh, etc. And now you're talking about uh, SEBI Global Tech. Uh, would you like to uh, give us more information about, you know, what your current organization is all about? Uh, our current organization is all about providing the trending technologies is what we call. We have different verticals and uh, this pretty much brings in uh, my experience in the last two decades that we that I have collected uh, to put it under one single umbrella to make sure that we are a one-stop technology solution uh, for our clients so they don't have to really look into the market for different solutions and different people so we are able to give them end-to-end -end, uh, solutions fantastic uh, Mukesh so now, uh, going back to your personal journey and your evolution as a leader, uh, you know, I would be very, very interested uh, in knowing some of your key achievements, which you cherish. You know, uh, every leader has uh, certain achievements and certain things they, you know, uh, hoist their flag and, you know, they get uh, the feeling of pride. So would you like to share some of your uh, achievements with us so that, you know, we can get inspired by those deeds of yours? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, we started off with uh, designing solutions on artificial intelligence, uh, both uh, in two different areas. One in uh, technology perspective for uh, industries and the second one in the healthcare. And uh, these are the two different aspects of the areas uh, that the market is uh, focusing on, especially considering the pandemic situation uh, we're glad to uh, mention about one of the technologies, which is called as Artex, uh, which is a solution, in fact, uh, based on artificial intelligence uh, on uh, medical healthcare solution for COVID. So this pretty much is an AI-based solution uh, that uh, our team has developed in uh, making sure that we are able to take an X-ray of a patient and uh, through which we can detect through the lungs signatures uh, whether the individual patient has COVID or not. So these are some of the uh, tech end solutions that we have developed, the one among them. And apart from which uh, we've also uh, developed another artificial intelligence based solution uh, for industries and uh, where you know, people are working on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, even, but the industries can't stop because those are factories. 
and people uh, there has to be a human interaction with the machines so in these areas having maintained social distance is quite important and it is uh, need to be a um, forefront safety aspect to make sure that the individuals who are working they are putting their uh, life in front of uh, everything else and making sure the production is on and then uh, the technology is uh, cherished there so we have uh, developed a solution where uh, the cameras which are installed in those industries can detect what is the distance between two individuals uh, that needs to be maintained and it tracks that information in terms of the distance and it also detects uh, whether the individual is uh, wearing a mask to make sure that he is safe in a environment that he is working in and uh, those are the kind of solutions that we have developed uh, and these are the go to market solutions that we have ready so mukesh uh, from the sound of it it looks like very really really high tech uh, you know applications and i think uh, almost 100% of the industries small large and medium all of them require this kind of application so i think uh, uh, with this we wish you good luck and uh, sure. we will cover the application sometime uh, again uh, in future but for today uh, i will come back to your leadership uh, qualities and uh, you know as uh, as the time is limited we would like to know more about what could be your message to the budding entrepreneurs in order to become a great leader good question ck uh this is uh, one of the very uh, frequently asked questions i would say uh and it is one of the most important questions uh this would help a lot of uh, entrepreneurs to uh have a steady and strong foundation uh and what really builds that foundation is uh, a few things that i would like to mention here uh one uh having a leadership in today's uh world is one of the very key things so here what i would mean by saying that is the personal connect with the technology that we are trying to build the personal connect is completely missing out so the forefront thing that we would uh, need is to make sure that we maintain the same kind of uh, personal relationship with individuals to build the network and the network actually is a foundation for uh, building any organization or an uh, uh, a company so it is important that along with uh, the right foundation uh, the right uh, connects that we get into in, in the market and the uh, right networking and uh, the personal trust that we have with each individual and build that networking into uh, a larger uh, avenue to make sure that we are able to reach out to global leaders and once we are able to reach out to global leaders uh, that's where we are able to offer the technology solutions to make sure uh, uh, it is more cherishing for each one of them to apply it in their own areas so the very simple thing uh, here is the personal connect is what i would say which is completely missing out in the digital world so i think uh, your message is very loud and clear what you are saying uh, or asking entrepreneurs to do is basically lead from the front build your network uh, get known in the market and not depend on your junior so basically you are trying to say that hey you have to do what you are doing and make sure that you become a role model for your company so i think it's a great learning for all of us um, so my next question would be uh, to take your inputs about the changes in the industry uh, bukesh uh, you know in last two decades you have seen so many changes at least three to four times drastic changes we have seen in the industry from your point of view right now we are uh, riding the uh, wave of iot and machine learning um, from your point of view after five years or three years in future where do you see our industry going and how it is changing uh, the future of uh, today's technology is going to be part of healthcare Uh, we have already started to see that uh, the kind of change that 
healthcare has brought into in terms of technology to people it's giving out uh, heat and cold waves to everybody and it's pretty much difficult for anybody to uh, absorb such a change and that is the reason why uh, even under the current uh, scare or the pandemic situation uh, that we all are having a tough time to uh, address uh, the constant change that has been happening to us on a day to day basis so in the coming years as you rightly said there is going to be a tremendous change uh, in terms of uh, they could be more scare uh, to the market and uh, they could also be uh, more solutions that can come to curb this uh, different challenges that we would probably face and uh, technology is one thing that is going to help all of this to be taken care of uh, people are automating solutions so these are some of the challenges that uh, we will be facing in the near future but we need to make sure that with the right technology and the right solution we should be able to handle it very well it's uh, very heartening to learn that you are already thinking about developing uh, new applications for the new age and your organization is now building uh, rapidly building applications uh, which are uh, for future basically futuristic in nature uh, right however uh, you know the, the investor community also play a major role in whatever is going to come out in next decade or next 5 years what is your key message to the investor community because i think that has become a holy grail of all it entrepreneurs to find the right investors who can live with them for at least 5 years or more so do you have a have any opinion on this see i have a completely different opinion in terms of uh, investors uh, see investors uh, there are two ways of uh, how investors come into organizations and uh, they either grow or they fail so uh, th- these are the two different ends that we see uh, there are very few organizations uh, sustaining today even after there has been great investments from uh, investors so i'm not against them but i'm only trying to understand how this investment could be a more sustainable one than looking at uh, even after good investments coming into organizations uh, we need to understand why they are failing so my point of view is only to take it to in the positive direction and make sure that it becomes a more sustainable investment and a uh, growth for an, uh, any organization for that matter so that makes it more uh, easy for in, more and more investors to come in and invest in uh, new startup organizations so i think uh, you also say uh, or rather concur when i say that investor community plays a major role because uh, if the healthcare has to uh, develop more more high tech uh, applications need to be deployed in the health healthcare segment then obviously investor community has to understand that future road map and back the it technologists uh, like yourself and your colleagues in the industry um mukesh i think uh, we had a wonderful uh, conversation today uh, however we had limited time uh, you know uh, it is not sufficient to understand your uh, you know the entire leadership journey but i think we we will find another opportunity to discuss with you it was a pleasure knowing you and also bringing some of these facts in front of our viewers thank you ck it was wonderful talking with you and being a part of your show have a nice day uh, mukesh and catch you next time bye bye thank you thank you ak have a wonderful day